solve this equation for x. I'm going to do this in the best possible way, and that is by clearing the fraction. First of all, let's notice that that right there, 7 minus x is the same as negative x minus 7. If I factor out a negative, I can, I can switch the places of those two things. You can always do that if you're subtracting two things. Think of it like this, 3 minus 1 equals 2, 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. So if you, if you switch the order of them, it just changes the sign on it, okay? So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to switch the order on these, and I'm going to multiply, and I'm going to multiply a negative in the front, and then these two things are going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to, I'm going to write that in here. So that's x minus 7. Yeah, and I'm doing that because I recognize right away that this is just x, plus, x minus 4 times x minus 7. That factors into that. And usually these things are easy to do if you recognize that pattern. So right away I'm going to multiply every single thing. I'll change colors here. I'm going to multiply every term by x minus 4 times x minus 7. This is called clearing the fraction. And you can do this because you're, because you're multiplying both sides of the equation by the same thing. That's something you've learned it from Algebra 1 when you first learned Algebra 1. You can do that. And watch what happens when I do that. That cancels with, whoops, that cancels with that. And you just have x squared minus 28 on the left. That cancels with that and you just have x plus 1, don't forget the parentheses here, times x minus 7. That cancels with that, and you just have x times x minus 4. And that's your new equation. It's much easier to do now because you don't have fractions to deal with. Now let's foil this out right here. So it's x squared minus 6x minus 7 plus, distribute that in, x squared minus 4x. Now let's move everything over to the left side of the equation. Actually, let's move everything to the right side since everything's over here. Let me just do this one step at a time. This is 2x squared. I'm going to leave this x squared minus 28 on the left. That's 2x squared because those are gone now. Minus 10x minus 7. And now let's move these to the other side by subtracting them. Remember, I'm setting this equal to zero. That's x squared minus 10x. I'm adding 28, which is plus 21. And now that's just a quadratic equation. I can Let's see if it factors. Hopefully it does. And you'll notice that that's 7 times 3, so look at that. Minus 7 and minus 3. It factors which means set each one equal to zero, x equals seven, and x equals three. And there are your answers, seven and three. Now, always check your answers, because at the very beginning, remember, if you, have, if you, if you plug something in and you get zero in the denominator, it's called an extraneous solution, and you, have to ignore, and you have to get rid of it. Notice I can plug in three, that won't be a problem, but if I plug in seven, I get the denominator right here of zero, and here for that matter. And so this is not a solution, because you're not allowed to divide by zero. So my only answer is x equals three. Now let's check it. Does x equals, does x equals three work? Let's plug in three here. Plug in three here, plug in three here, plug in three here, and here, and here. Plug in three everywhere we see x, and here. I'm going to let you do that, but trust me, three will work when you do that. That's it.